Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today, it's all about crepes. I'm gonna show you a really simple, I mean, it could be breakfast, lunch, or dinner, but this is a really simple breakfast recipe um, with these beautiful, steamy, warm, fluffy crepes topped with a blueberry compote, sticky, icky jam on top with a cream cheese, lemon, and vanilla glaze. That is just to die for. So let's dive in the recipe. So first up, we're gonna be making uh, the crepe batter. So I'm gonna grab a bowl and a whisk, all-purpose flour, cup of milk, got your egg, just a little bit of sugar. You don't want too much sugar because it'll ruin how it sticks to the nonstick pan. And then melted butter, just a pinch of salt. Give it a good whisk. All right, now ideally, you'd want to let this rest for at least a day or overnight. I'm going to let it rest just as I prepare the cream cheese topping and the blueberry topping as well. So maybe, I don't know, half an hour to 45 minutes, just so the flour and all the wet ingredients kind of homogenize and the crepe comes out just as beautiful as can be. So put this in the fridge and let it rest. All right, so this is my crepe pan. I'm gonna move this off and I'm gonna start my, my blueberry topping. Turn the heat up to medium. Mm. So I got some, some blueberries. My kids love to freeze these and eat, eat them as like a little frozen blueberry snack, which I think is brilliant because I used to do that you know, with other things as a kid. But we have some extra blueberries in the house and I'm just gonna dump, I don't know, maybe half of these, turn the heat up a little bit in here. I'm only gonna make like one or two servings, so I don't wanna be super wasteful. Yeah, that should be good. Uh, maybe a little more. A little bit of sugar. Yeah, that's, I don't know, two tablespoons, three tablespoons. And we're just gonna let these cook down until um, these just start to pop and release the juices. And once it starts to cook down, um, it'll just become sticky and just this wonderful, you know, topping that you can use on an array of things. You can even cool it down and use it as like a PB&J mix for peanut butter and jelly. I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of this vanilla extract. And then a splash of water. And that'll just really speed up the cooking process instead of just these dry blueberries in a hot pan. Turn the heat up and then start reducing these until it becomes that texture that we all look for in these uh, you know, pancake toppings. So this has probably been cooking for, I don't know, five to seven minutes. And it's already starting to glaze the back of the spoon. I could tell when it cools down, it's gonna be quite thick. I'm not gonna mess with this anymore. I'm gonna take this off the heat and just let it cool down without stirring it. Cause I want some of these blueberries just to kind of maintain their integrity, be kind of chunky and a really, um, you know, homemade feel when it comes to this recipe. I'm gonna get my cream cheese out of the fridge. Cream cheese, sour cream, powdered sugar, lemon zest, vanilla extract, pinch of salt, and a splash of milk. And you're gonna give this a good whisk. If you need to add a little bit more powdered sugar, if it's a little too wet, add a little bit more and kind of adjust the consistency. And if you wanna add a little bit more cream cheese or sour cream to make it tangy or just to thicken it up, you're more than welcome to do that as well. But this is looking really, really good. This is another thing that it sets up really well if you let this rest in the fridge because then it gives everything a chance to kind of cool down and really soak into each other. But this will be fine if you just let it rest in the fridge for just a few minutes. That is what you're looking for. You know, oozy, dripping, kind of just like maintains a little bit of shape. Oh, yeah. You could always make it a little bit thinner or thicker, but this is, exactly where I want it to be. All right, put that in the fridge. So it's been a few minutes um, in the fridge and it's kind of just set up just ever so slightly. I'm gonna transfer it to a piping bag. Nice little way to decorate and just make the, uh, the finished crepes that much more appealing. You just want a nice little drizzle touch. Super easy, ready to go. All right, so everything's prepped out for these crepes. I just gotta get this pan hot, so I'm gonna turn it up to high heat, and uh, I'm gonna put just a little bit of butter in there. Not much, just to develop kind of that first layer of non-stickiness 
And this is already a nonstick pan. This is actually the all-in-one from Trementina. I love this pan. Um, I'm actually gonna be ordering um, an actual nonstick. I don't know if I'm gonna do a Teflon or enamel, um, but this is a really great pan. It's a little deeper than I'd actually like for this uh, particular recipe with crepes. You want it to have a little bit more airflow. Um, so they don't get too uh, you know, moisture bound. But this will work, especially if I just monitor the, the temperature and make sure it's always on high. Uh, so the first crepe is always a little weird. It actually might turn out really good. I, I always you know, usually have trouble with the, the first crepe being really beautiful, but let's see. So let me get the batter. It's had a chance to set up and you're gonna wanna put just enough batter in there to coat the bottom. So you want it to be really thin. So I'm gonna have to maybe adjust this. And then maybe one more. Circle the pan until it coats each edge as much as possible. If you need a little bit more, you can do that, but try not to add more crepe batter if you don't have to. Now we're just gonna let this cook and let the edges rise up, and that's when you know the crepe is ready to flip. So typically, I, the first one that I make is not the prettiest, just because everything, you know, coming up the temp, getting the, the bottom of the pan just ever so slightly seasoned, and just getting that rhythm of making crepes. I used to make like hundreds of crepes, and uh, after the first one, it just, you just fly through them. I mean, you put them in the pan, the pan's hot, you flip it over, it starts to caramelize, and you just, it's like making tortillas, you just bang them out. So with this one, the edges just start to rise. This one actually turned out pretty good, just a minute longer, but typically, Whatever side turns out the best will be my presentation side. So you guys can decide that for yourself, you know, depending on, uh, you know, the flip side or the original pour side. I'll flip this. Beautiful crepe. Cook the other side, maybe for a minute. Ooh, that looks good. Look at that, beautiful crepe. Fold that in quarters and just repeat the process. That. Oh, that's hot. You don't have to flip it with your hands like I do, um, but if you're quick about it, you won't burn it. So, I'm gonna have three crepes is good. These are nice and warm, fluffy and beautiful. Blueberry filling, cream cheese. You now you don't have to have it everywhere. A couple little spots. Let it drizzle off. powdered sugar around. Let's give it that final crepe touch. And that's it. Crepes, cream cheese, lemon topping with a blueberry sticky jam combo. All right, there you guys have it. This is the um, wonderful fluffy warm crepes with the blueberry topping and that wonderful zesty cream cheese, that sweet cream cheese um, drizzle right over the top. So it's time to taste this and go through the flavors. Oh, so tender. Oh my gosh. Whew, that's good. Oh, the, uh, the crepes have such a wonderful, soft, fluffy texture that have that caramelization and the cream cheese that cream cheese zesty topping. It's just a wonderful combo. You got the tangy sweet blueberries, the, cr the creamy, soft, almost like custardy middle of the crepes. Mmm. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you did, make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment down below letting me know if you want more breakfast items or crepe related dishes. I might do a savory take on crepes. Um, so. Uh, keep on the lookout for that. The ingredients for this will be down in my description box, so check that out, along with some equipment links and my other socials. This was a really fun recipe to make. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time with another recipe. Later, folks.